Well, hello and welcome to our garden in Belconnen in Canberra. I'm just going to take you around a bit. This is a, uh, a wall we have into the courtyard. As you can see, a lovely little courtyard. Beautiful and cool in the summer. Also very private. Some fabulous irises growing here. We have uh, ratty and wind in the willows in the ponds. Two ponds. Uh, both have got fish in it. One's got a frog in it, by the way. And um, so, if you're ever thinking of putting a pond in to your place, you'd better like frogs because they croak incessantly. Uh, this little guy seems to go as soon as the sun goes down until the sun comes up. And it can be a bit annoying. <laughs> anyway, we've got the acanthus growing here. They get wonderful flowers. They'll be coming out soon actually. As you can see the flower stalks there. And the green man, a bit of homage to English heritage. These crab apples are lovely as well. So, beautiful little courtyard. Fantastic to sit out here and <clears throat> have a couple of drinks in the afternoon. So, moving on. Down past the wall. I think this is a clematis that's growing up there. Some potostrums. And some more potostrums, plus some carpet roses, which are growing beautifully. Over here, you can see I've got a couple more potostrums in there, so that the uh, the driveway will end up basically a corridor of plants. Along here, the cypress hedge, which extends right along here. It's quite a decent sized block actually as you can see we planted these about 12 years ago uh, they need a clip every couple of years and following on we'll move in here this is this, the front lawn this is probably my favorite part of the, of the whole place again big potostrum hedge probably 10 12 years old and there's a gateway here that goes into a <coughs> into a rose garden but I'm not going to go in there at the moment because I was too lazy to, to mow so it looks a bit uh, a bit untidy again got beautiful carpet roses just starting to come out and the hedge which in, sort of encases this uh, this front lawn and uh, I think we've got a yeah got a car on there enjoying himself. Again, I have some more roses. Um, not even sure what they are. This one I think is an iceberg, a climber of some description. Uh, maybe a Pierre Ronsard. This one. Uh, this one is just a red one. Again, another Pierre Ronsard. I think. I actually don't do anything to these, I just planted them and they, uh, they grow superbly. This, um, <clears throat> this year has been quite wet which is, which is fantastic. Normally Canberra is freezing cold in the winter and stinking hot in the summer and it doesn't rain very often. So this is a bit of a, an English garden really, I would suggest. Uh, I don't know what this is, I bought it online. It looks like some sort of cherub sitting on a, I don't know, a fish. Or it could be a large lizard or a frog, who knows. Anyway, it looks okay. And it just forms this little grotto with the uh, the Venka Major, which you can see growing in there. It's, uh, it's great ground cover, but you've got to be really careful with it because it'll get away. Um, again, the hedge and the lawn, which I really, really like sitting out here in this uh, summer's afternoon having a beer. There's a stone circle that uh, we put in. Again, a bit of a homage to English gardens uh, and sort of the Neolithic sort of uh, landscape that exists in England. And it's even got, a, I suppose, a capstone there. Not a capstone, a headstone, whatever. 
is uh, this tree's been sitting here for as long as the um, as the cypresses, uh, but the soil here is pretty bad, so it um, hasn't grown much. It's very healthy, just hasn't grown much. Again, back to the roses here on the corner. And as you can see, we've got a got these large gums just outside the hedge, which is fantastic. The cockatoos can come in, all sorts of birds, magpies, rosellas. And so there we go. That is a quick look at our garden. Thank you.